Good morning, everyone. Uh, great to be with you this morning for uh, the morning devotional. Um, I wonder how you read the title uh, that I gave uh, this morning. Why me, Lord? You can read it in two different ways. You can read it as, why me, Lord? Why has this happened? Or you can read it in a, why me, Lord? Why would you love me? Why would you pour out your grace and your mercy and your love upon me? You can read it in a kind of entitled way. You can read it in a humble, kind of amazed way at what Jesus has done for us. And I would put to you that we should read it in the, the second way. You see, I truly believe that humility is one of the most powerful ways we can walk alongside with Jesus. I would put to you that it's hard not to when you are aware of how great and majestic and mighty and powerful our Lord and Saviour is. The very fact that he would then lay his life down for us can do nothing but humble us. As always, uh, Mr. Charles Spurgeon, um, I have something to say about what he says. And he says, while others are congratulating themselves, I have, I have to sit humbly at the foot of the cross and marvel that I'm saved at all. Secondly, a woman once said to Charles Spurgeon, I cannot understand why God should say that he hated Esau. That, Spurgeon replied, is not my difficulty, madame. My trouble is to understand how God could love Jacob. I think what Spurgeon grasped, and we need to as well, is just being amazed at the cross. It's walking humbly, waking up every morning and thinking, wow, God, God of the universe gave his son for me. And the mercies and his graces are new each day. It's incredible. Psalm 8 has some incredible um, uh, verses about looking at nature and being staggered and um, being humbled by it. Psalm 8 reads this, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants you have established strength because of your foes to, the, to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Who am I, why me, that you are mindful of me, Lord? To have that attitude of humility, I really truly believe is a powerful position to be because it disarms the enemy. What can he throw at you? What can he throw at me? What can he accuse me of when I'm so aware of my, my, my sin? The flesh that I battle with every day. If he accuses me of anything, I could turn around and go, I know that to be true. Yet Jesus still loves me. Jesus still died for me. And his forgiveness covers everything I've ever done and everything I will do. We should walk humbly is a powerful position to be in. And Jesus, Jesus himself said this in Matthew 18. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? They want to know arrogantly who's the best. He called the little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Other versions say, whoever will walk humbly will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So I put to you this morning, my prayer is that you would be afresh staggered by the cross, amazed, not so that you're crushed, not so that you're, you're put to a place where you just think you're, you're, you're not worth saving, but amazed by the fact that Jesus counts you as worthy, counts you and loves you and desires to have a relationship with you. To be in that place, I truly believe, um, is, is, a, is how he wants us to walk because we're so dependent upon him each day. But it also is a powerful, disarming place to be for the, for the enemy because there's nothing he can trick at you that you don't already know. And it just fuels more and more praise and thankfulness to Jesus because we just say, why me? Why why would you love me? But praise you, Jesus, that you do. Let me pray. Father God, I thank you so much that you showed us just how much you love us by sending your son Jesus to die in our place. Oh Lord, may that stagger us. May it humble us. May we look at ourselves and say, why me, Lord? And we may not have an answer, but we can look at the cross and we can see that you poured out your love towards us went through what we should have gone through 
And I, I pray, Lord, this morning, everyone listening and watching this would be amazed afresh and be in a, strength, a strong place because they are humbled and amazed by you, Jesus. And that may fuel their praise today, I ask in your most precious name. Amen. Hope you have a great day and you're enjoying the beautiful weather we've been having and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.